Hi, in this problem, we're being asked to write this expression as a single logarithm whose coefficient is one. Um, so basically we have to combine all of these and just have a single log. To do this problem, we're going to use the properties of logarithms. So the first property we're going to use is the power rule. The power rule says if you have, I'll write it over here, if you have the natural, uh, if you have P, times the natural log of x. So in other words, if you have a number outside, you can bring it upstairs and write this as the natural log of x to the p. Let's go ahead and do that first since we have numbers in front of all of these logs. So for this one here, we have a 4. So we can bring the 4 up, right up here, and write it as the natural log of x to the 4th. Just like that. Then we have the plus, so plus, and then we can take this 5 and write it up here. So this is the natural log of y to the 5. And then there's a negative here, so you could bring up the negative 6, but that just kind of makes it more complicated. Let's just leave the minus sign there and bring up the 6 by itself. So this is the natural log of z to the 6. Okay, so we've gotten rid of all the numbers, and there was a reason we did that first. So now there's two more rules that we're going to use. The first one is the product rule, which says if you have the natural log of, let me use a different variable, a, plus the natural log of b, that's equal to the natural log of a times b. There's a really cheesy way to memorize this. The addition turns into multiplication. <laughs> so it's just kind of fun. I made that up. And then the other one is um, this one. If you have the natural log of A minus the natural log of B, this is the natural log of A over B. So we have two rules we can use. The subtraction turns into division. Of course, it all rhymes, right? Shun, shun, shun. But uh, maybe it does help. So addition turns into multiplication, subtraction turns into division. So let's do it in steps. Let's start by just using, working left to right. So we'll use the product rule here first. So the first rule we have here, so this will be the natural log of, so a, that's going to be our uh, x to the fourth, times, and then our b is y to the fifth. And then we still have this piece here hanging out, so minus the natural log of z to the sixth. Okay, now we'll use the second rule where the subtraction turns into division. So this is the natural log. So this whole piece is your a. And you notice it's up top over here, so parentheses, and this whole piece will be up top. So this is x to the fourth, y to the fifth, all being divided by z to the sixth, just like that. And that's it, we've written it as a single logarithm whose coefficient is one. Good luck.